So, so then um, we have confirmed that then the finding our self journey and the finding of the purpose is always to serve another person. Yeah. yeah. But then I want us to come back <laughs> and be realistic again, be more practical. Yeah. So does it mean then that when I'm seeking my purpose and I'm trying to find myself, uh, how is this all going to make me get paid or make me make money? Sh should I be pursuing money? Yeah, because no, I talk yes. about I talk about the millionaire mindset, right? Yeah. I talk about freedom. I talk about making money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, is this still going to get me to the place where I'm gonna make loads of money? <laughs> Let's talk about I that. Know, I, I, I hope hope you hundred percent. I'm a coach. <laughs> I get paid to be a coach. <laughs> started when the, the night I got born again right I actually uh, heard in my spirit God say to me I have purpose for you okay. and that's when my hunger was was birthed and it's about okay. to be 10 years next year actually uh, next month, well done. 10 years born again but yeah so for me that's when it started and I started ser um, seeking what is my purpose what is he talking about yeah. so i put time into seeking that and when i found that out i started to realize okay women actually gravitate towards me women my age you know they like to confide in me they like to ask my thoughts on things i was like okay so let me nurture this okay, okay. so i'm good at giving advice i guess because they come to me for it so let me nurture that let me do a course about coaching that's right yeah so guys i want to that i wanted you to say it yeah. <laughs> because you blazers academy we say Dream Blazers Academy, you dream it with Blazers. Yeah. And if you go on our website, we say we help you turn your passion into profit and your gifts into profit. Right. And people are struggle to align this yeah. with actually as you serve others. There is more money in serving others yeah. than in pursuing self. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, God true. is not concerned about you serving yourself. Yeah. He has put you on planet Earth to be of service yeah. to the other person and to, to and, 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 and to the universe. Yeah. And if we want to take an example from the Bible, when God created Adam, mm -hmm. he he made everything available to him. Mm -hmm. But then he said to him, I would want you to turn the garden. Yeah. And when we look at the word turning the garden, he was serving yeah. mm -hmm. animals, serving the, the, the trees mm -hmm. serving the earth yeah it was not about him yeah that's huh? right so that's right. i like what you've mentioned that now that you've realized that you had a purpose you have got to nature it the yeah. nurturing yeah, needs to it. happen it does, you have got does. to invest it in it yeah. you've yeah. got to make it time does, yeah. for it yeah so that you can perfect it like what we, have, we were talking about yeah. so that you can become good at what you're doing that's become it. an expert that's yeah. it so that's that exactly. people come to you and you for expert yeah. advice yeah. in that area yeah. if you are a if you are a tech geek mm -hmm. and you're a developer mm -hmm. you become so good at whatever yeah. programs and languages yeah. Yeah. that you become the most expensive yeah. that's it that's, that's right. That, that's, yeah. that's how you make your money. Yeah. But you've got to invest. 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 Add value. Add value. That's that's right. Right. Yeah. I've been this year. I've, <laughs> I've been talking about investment. Yeah. Right. On my Instagram, my mission yeah. twenty when twenty nineteen was starting, I said mm -hmm. I'm going to invest in that's me. That's, that's right. Because I'm the biggest asset. That's it. That's right. That's whatever I'm going to do yeah. is going to have. Yeah. And I'll be there forever. Mm -hmm. So I need to invest in that asset. Yeah, that's right. So I really like that when you talk about investment because you're the first asset, you're the biggest asset. Yeah. And, and you're the right. most important asset. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Right. Asset, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's amazing. So so now, now that we have found our purpose, we know that the importance of investing yeah. in our purpose and we know the importance of making time. Yeah. yeah. So how do we make the time? Maybe Glenn, you can help us with how how do we make the time? Okay, uh, obviously people always have a challenge about time, isn't it? Everyone yeah. always, uh, they always have an excuse for not doing something. They're saying, I haven't got time. Yeah. There's always, but I think if you have a purpose or if you have a passion, you know, time is there. You make time for that thing. Um, yeah. So it's, it's about, I think, going back again to passion. How passionate are you about accomplishing yeah. that thing? So if right. you're passionate about, there's no excuses. Yeah. 
because yeah. I think sometimes it's also maybe not um, you just just not being knowledgeable about something, and then you procrastinate, or you've got yeah. no resources, and then you if you start talking, you know, about you know just not having time, and it's just about making excuses. But I yeah. think if, if it's if it's your passion, if it's your dream, I think it's something you you know it it will push you. Your dream, yeah. will, you know, every day it will push you to just you know yeah. not make excuses. You yeah, know, so you, you find time. The way I look at it, I agree with you because I look at it like if you have a baby. Mm. If you had a baby today, yeah. and you think, okay, um, this baby, I'm just gonna have it. Oh, it's all right. It can just sleep there, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna get on with it here. What? What's gonna happen to this baby? <laughs> what? Gonna the baby is gonna die yeah. of malnutrition, of dirt not being washed, yeah. not being looked at. <laughs> the same with your dreams. Yeah, yeah. The same with your purpose. Yeah. So you have got to make time. Yeah. Yeah. And that making of time. Unfortunately, we all have got 24 hours. Nobody has got 36 or 48. Mm. Yeah. Bill Gates has 24. Yeah. I have 24. You have, everybody has got 24. 24. Yeah. So it's about making a decision. That's it. How many hours do I have? And how many hours every day am I going to allocate yeah. towards finding myself? Yeah. Towards say. finding Finally. my purpose. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Can you el elaborate on that? How so, do you do it? Time is money. I'm yeah. always going to say that. Yeah. It's hard. I call it money because money is hard to find, yeah. so it's time. Yeah. So what we need to do is, what we need to start learning is, we need to start planning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Planning is very important. Mm -hmm. And we need to list all the things that take our time. Mm -hmm. right. Everything that you do in 24 hours. <laughs> accountability. Accountability. I yeah. always talk about accountability yeah. as well. <laughs> Look at those things in 24 hours yeah. and allocate time, you know, mm -hmm. like see what takes most of your time yeah. Yeah. and look at what productivity do you bring from that. Yeah, absolutely. Trust me, you'll probably find that social media mm -hmm. oh, yeah. will have oh, yeah. less <laughs> ah, stealing most of your time. Hallelujah. Productivity, yeah. zero. zero. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that, you you have this guilt to conscience because you need to have it in writing for you yeah. to understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Don't think about it. Start mm -hmm. writing. Start exercise writing. Yeah. Yes. So then when you look at it and then you start trimming. Yeah. The less important things yes. out yeah. of your time. And trust me, it's painful. Is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this exercise is not for, for, for dream blazers. It's just for dreamers. Yeah. If you're going to blaze it, <laughs> you've got to you've do got it. To do it. Right. Amen. Yeah. Wow. You've got to do it. Well no pain. Well, no pain. Pain. well done. Well done. Well done. So, so you yeah. guys, what what's the number one thing from each person that you would want to leave with somebody watching? Mm -hmm. Um, if somebody says, Okay, I'm trying to find myself, but I just feel frustrated, I feel stifled. Um, what is the number one thing that they need to do right now from watching this video? that is going to help them get started with finding themselves and pursuing their purpose. But what do you think that one number one thing? To me, the, the most important thing, I always say you, you cannot even begin to find your purpose until you find the one who gave it to you. Okay. You, you know, if, if I wanted to know how my iPhone works mm -hmm. to its optimum, I always use this, this, this example. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the Apple mm -hmm. shop, right? Mm -hmm. And say, show me how to use everything. Show me everything about this Apple, uh, this iPhone. Mm -hmm. And then I can use it to its optimum, right? If I want to know everything about me, I have to go to the one who made me. The creator. If I, yeah, my creator. I have to go to God. If I want to know what is my purpose, I can't find, you know, the, the enemy, like the devil, will try to tell you what your purpose is. Your mom, your dad, people can try to tell you, mm. you should be doing this. You're so funny, you should be a comedian. You're so good at cooking, you should be a chef. But it's mm. not what God has said. Mm. So everyone will have an opinion, everyone will have a voice. You can even have your own voice, but it can be wrong. So the number one thing to me is you have to go back to the one who made you. You have to go back to God, the, the giver of purpose. So the giver of purpose, go to your creator yeah. and he will show you. Yeah. What's that number one thing for you? Number one thing for me is be authentic. Be you. Mm. Be you. Create your own standards. Yeah. Forget about the society mm -hmm. because they'll create standards for you. That's mm. right. And they're not your standards. Yeah. Be authentic, have your own standards and stick to them. The society doesn't have to understand your standards. That's, That's right. right. Be authentic, and stick to your standards and you'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And for you, what, what, what is it? What's that one thing? 
Uh, so it would be like Zimai, it's the same, uh, you know, knowing your makeup uh, mm -hmm. and giving that relationship. But mm -hmm, uh, yeah. apart from that, I think what, what, what has helped me is the people that I've surrounded myself with. Wow. So right. I don't know for you guys, but um, mm -hmm. it's, you are like, uh, show me the people that you hang around and I'll tell you who you are. Yeah. So oh, you are you are like the people that you hang around with. So some mm -hmm. people, you know, things are not happening because maybe they're in the wrong relationships. Mm -hmm. So some of the things, they're long gone, but you're still holding on to them. So sometimes your breakthrough is going to come once you let go of those other things. So I'll wow. say wow. relationships. So relationships. So have positive relationships and yeah. then they're gonna feed positive things to you and then um, anything that's toxic you don't need it especially if you are going to build your purpose yeah. especially if you're gonna find your purpose wow. you that's don't right. need uh, negative people even sometimes if, if, if you are left with one person that's I cool. always talk about quantity not quality yeah. Yeah. sorry I always talk about quality sorry not quantity it's all about having quality wow. not quantity it's not about the numbers wow. as long as I'm left with one good person in my life that's good enough for me. Yeah. So that's, that's what we need to need. try for. Yeah. So guys, try for get rid of the weight. The Bible says lay down every weight. Yeah. Every weight. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is. Lay it down yeah. and let go. Yeah. Excess yeah. baggage. Excess baggage is gonna cost you. You know when you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> they charge you per kilo. Of course. Well, Excess baggage. Yeah, it's so. gonna cost you your life, guys. Uh, yeah. You know I'm always drilling down on this. Excess baggage, it doesn't matter who it is, mm -hmm. deal with it and manage it. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of it. You don't need the weight. You yeah. don't need the drama. Yeah. Yeah. Delete yeah. them from your phone. Delete them That's from your phone. Uh, Those WhatsApp groups that you are in, come out. <laughs> yeah. Those Facebook groups you are in, come out. Yeah. Those Twitter you have those tweet up spaces you are in come out trim them down trim them down focus on what's important yeah. Yeah? yeah and then she told us that find your maker i always say that when god created us mm -hmm. he made us his co-creators can right. you imagine we have his dna yeah. the power and the grace and everything the capacity that he has yeah. he instilled it in yeah. us mm -hmm. and we have his we have his blood yeah. running through us yeah. So when I want to find myself and when I want to find it, when, when I wanted to find my purpose, I went back to my creator and I say, okay, what is the problem? He, sorry, what is the program here? Yes. Yes. What is the structure? Mm, that's right. If it's a software, you know, we go back to the programmers yeah. Yeah. and we ask them, what language did you use? Mm, yeah. <laughs> what is the code? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So why do you want to go to a different programmer yeah. who yeah. didn't program the system? That's right. So go back to basic. Mm. And she did say to us, invest, invest, invest yeah. in yourself. Yeah. Right. And spend mm. time knowing and understanding what you need to do. So I, I can't add any more. For me, when you've done all these things, yeah. right. for me, I believe that alignment is everything That's yeah. right. i believe that when you found yourself you start to walk in a space that is specific to you That's it. yeah you walk in your own grace that is specific to you yeah. and so you don't listen to the noises because noises are going to be there always the yeah. and you you don't measure yourself against the next person yeah. because yeah. your reality so your truth yeah. your everything it's according to your purpose right. and your alignment. Yeah. And you know, as you do that, for me, what happened was when I when I started to, to live in that space, the universe then draws the right people That's towards right. me. Yeah. I get attracted to, those to that purpose. I yeah. get attracted to the right things. And so I stopped worrying about money. Mm, that's I stopped worrying, wow. worrying about money. Yeah, because when I'm good at what I do, mm -hmm. money that's looks you. for me. That's that's it. It. That's, yeah, yeah. That's and that's I don't have to yeah. sell myself. Yes. Yeah. I don't have to negotiate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding that when you are not working in your purpose, God will provide as well. That's it. The the people <clears throat> who need what you have. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When that's I started work, working on my journey, when I thought, okay, God, how do I how do I grow this academy? Because I am only one person, yeah. um, and I'm a businesswoman. Yeah. I'm an entrepreneur. I've got so many businesses that I still manage and run. Yeah. But this is work for me. Mm -hmm. right. I need to grow this purpose that you've showed me. Yeah. You know what happened? About moment when I went to this conference, and 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 it told me that the words the person was speaking in front, and he says, "Some of you in here are looking." Uh, for people who've got your answers, but you are the answer. 
Wow. That, that was really exactly what happened. Yeah. So I grabbed that way. I'm the answer. How? How am I the answer? <laughs> yeah. Because I had been on a journey of trying to find myself and find yeah. purpose. Yeah. And um, when I came from that conference, I decided, okay, I'm going to host a, a lunch at my house, a three-course meal. Okay. And all I did was I released an email to all the entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs on my, on my database, on my Outlook. I right. said, guys, I'm going to have a, a lunch at my house. Let's have a three-course. Yeah. And guess what? 45 women turned up. Wow. 45 women turned up. Wow. And I wow. said to them, I don't have a topic. I don't have a plan. <laughs> yeah. This is just a lunch to discuss our challenges. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's when I realized that actually our challenges are the same. That's yeah. right. But nobody was willing to do the job of bringing the people Check together right. and identifying the problems. Yeah. Right. Wow. Okay. That's how I started. And that goes back um, 2006, 2007. Right. And that's how my journey started of serving. Wow. Dream Blazers yeah, Academy yeah. was born, but then it wasn't called, I didn't know it was going to be Dream Blazers Academy then. Right. I was just taking that one step. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah towards my purpose, purpose and my yeah. alignment. Yeah. And before I knew it, um, I was, we were talking about investing. Yeah. So mm. I was so shy. I didn't know how I was going to come <laughs> online. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know anything. Yeah. But then I, I started studying. Yeah. And rolling onto courses, going onto programs. How do I position myself online? How right. do I create a Facebook group? How do I create a Facebook account? How do I position myself? How do I protect myself from the drama of all that happens online? Yeah. What if I get damaged? So all these questions, guys, you have them. But the key is you have got to keep moving. Yeah. Right. Yes. You have got to be in alignment and then keep moving, finding yourself. Yeah. Continue to serve. And yeah. as you do that, the women and the men that were coming to the workshops that, that I was doing from then, I started doing recruitment workshops, how to start a recruitment business. Because that's, right, okay. that's the knowledge or that's the space that I was knowledgeable. Yeah. I was an expert in that. Yeah. Yeah. I had right. run a recruitment business. It had done very well and it had failed. Yeah. And it had started again. It was doing very well. So I was positioned yeah. to give information. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how it. I started. Yeah. Wow. And before then, it wasn't... It wasn't Dream Blazers Academy. Yeah. But today here we are. We have got a full Dream Blazers Academy, which now we've got people working full time in it, yeah. helping entrepreneurs. Yeah. You get my point. Yeah. So sure. the key guys is just get started. Just, get just started. do that's it. That's it. You said something, you said that's what I was knowledgeable in. That's what yeah. I was an expert in. And do you know what? Yeah. I love um one thing that um, I always say is that use what you have. Yeah. Yeah. What is it that you know that the next person doesn't know? Oh. What is it that people come to you with questions about? Because yeah. that you can, w when you answer those questions, you can then start to um, position yourself as the expert in that field. Yeah. And you can actually start to realize, oh, so I guess I'm purposed in this area. That's right. You know, yeah. I, I, I have a special grace for this area. Absolutely. And then that's how God actually starts to Open your eyes to, to show you about yourself. Absolutely. So start with what you have. Start with yeah. what you have, guys. And so, yeah, so you can add something. Sorry, I know you could have wrapped it up. <laughs> but um, I was just going to say, like, so what we're doing with the entrepreneurs in our academy, the Dream Blazers Academy, is finding problems, is finding uh, solutions to problems, to things that are already maybe happening in the community. So Absolutely. it's starting with the things, like, for example, Grace said, she, you know, it's, it's the things that she experienced. Mm -hmm. That's how she found a purpose. Yeah. So it's finding those problems that we have every day. Sometimes we think it's rocket science, yeah. we're thinking too much, yeah, but whereas it. it's things that are happening sometimes even in our houses, yeah. we can actually start, you know, start from there and yeah. then start building up from there and start sort wow. of, you know, working That's our true. purpose that way. Yeah. That's brilliant. And what I was going to add before we close is that people then ask me the question, how do I then turn this passion or this gift or this purpose into a business? Mm. Like she's just said, a business is is not something that is disconnected from you. Yeah. Right. Wow. A business must must align with your purpose and where you are going. So if you That's start so your great. business idea from solving a problem, mm -hmm. it means that you are you are turning your skills and your gifts and your talents and your passions, your experience into a business. Mm -hmm. You are now serving the next person to solve their problems. Yeah. But as you do that, you are not only solving their problems but you're also solving problems of those around them because if their yeah. problems are solved, it means those around them are not going to have problems with them. Right. So the, no, the impact, this is what we, we focus on in Dream Blazers. We focus on solving problems 
and being impactful and then you make money out of it anyway yeah. because the impact is that when we measure impact we will look at how many people did you serve but right. of those right. people right. how many around them in that community right that were impacted by that. you are also helping even solve problems at government level let me tell you that mm. because for example if you identify a problem of somebody who was going to break down mm -hmm. yeah yeah and probably they have three kids, God forbid that. Yeah. But just an example, they had three kids. Mm -hmm. You have served this person, but you've also served three kids. these three kids. Right. And these three kids, you've also served their friends. Yes. Yeah. And the school. The society. Yeah. And the society. Yeah. 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 The government focus. So you want to start a business, you want to start a business, look at the problem. So mm -hmm. your purpose, you find it, it's very important that you find, find yourself, when you found yourself, align with your purpose. And then when you do that, your business idea must always be birthed out of all those things. Yeah. And if you start mm. your business from that place, mm. it's not a job. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So you, you will get paid to be you. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> to be authentic. So guys, yeah, to be authentic. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys, for your contribution. Thank Today you we are going to end our topic on this and we will see you on the next program when we discuss the new things. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.